If you're experiencing your Rigify joints bending in the wrong direction, it's most likely due to the bends you had in the joints when setting up your MetaRig, and it's not because of bone rolls as I first thought. With fingers in particular, it's where the first bone of each finger is pointed towards in relation to its root. That will set the direction in which your fingers will bend. So normally, even if your character has completely straight fingers, you can just curve your finger bones slightly inward or down to set the proper bend direction for your rig controls. The same applies to knees, uh, bend them slightly forward. Apply all transforms on both the character and the rig before you parent the mesh to the armature. Otherwise, even if your rig doesn't break immediately, you might be frustrated later when you accidentally reset one of the parameters of your character. Keep the character at a real-world scale so as to make it easier to import and export it to other scenes and applications that are set up for a realistic scale without having to readjust it to the new environment. After appending or copy-pasting rigs, rerun the Rigify script from the text editor window. In this dropdown, choose the name of the rig that you imported, uh, in this case it's Rig A, and click the Run button. Otherwise, some important Rigify buttons will not show up on the side panel, such as the IK to FK toggles, parent selections for different parts of the rig, etc., all of which you might want to change or animate. You can use the 3D cursor as the pivot point to position arms and legs a little faster and with more consistency. The face rig might look complex, but as long as you get the eye bones positioned correctly, you will be fine for most poses and even some animations, as long as you use shape keys to animate the face, instead of just relying on bones. So you want to position the bone at the center of the eye. Usually it's simple enough if the eye origin is at its center already, or if the geometry has the same density across the whole eye. But if not, like here, one way to find its center is to select the widest part of the eye and position the 3D cursor at the selection using the Shift S Pi menu. One other way would be to duplicate the eye and remesh it, and then in edit mode, select everything and put the 3D cursor at the whole selection to find the center. If you're rigging multiple characters in one file, go to the Rigify Advanced Settings and switch the toggle from Overwrite to New. And don't forget to change the rig name for every new rig that you want to create. Otherwise, Blender will completely delete the previous armature whenever you create a new one. I didn't know this and rigged 5 characters in the same file, only to realize later that each new rig simply removed the previous one. So all I had left was just one armature for the last character. Also, if you're experiencing the bone heat waiting error where you can't attach the mesh to the armature automatically, make sure your mesh is well optimized. You can either clean it manually or make it manifold using Blender's built-in 3D print toolbox add-on, or you can watch my other video covering just this topic to get a few hacks on other ways to deal with it. These are only a few things that you can do to make your Rigify workflow a bit more consistent. If you have any more tips or maybe some questions, feel free to post them below. And thanks for watching.